So, hello lesbians. Um, first off, uh, some news, an announcement, whatever. Um, young adult lesbians has not died. I know it's been a big, bit of a ghost town recently. Um, the lovely Chelsea Sky is currently super busy and she's ta taking a temporary hiatus from y'all. So I'll be filling in for her and our weeks, I'm moving our weeks just like to a calendar week so from Sunday to Saturday. So instead of emailing everyone the topic I will basically start, I will do like my Sunday video and then after that everyone just work goes down the week and does their video. Um, so, on another note, we have a couple of days that need to be filled in. Um, if you're interested in being part of uh, Young Adult Lesbians, I, we are taking auditions. Um, you can send me your information, I'll send you a list of questions, or you can just send me a video answering them. Or you can Skype me and do it that way. So, also, this week we have a series of questions instead of just a general topic. Um, thoughts on bar gays and spaghetti lesbians? Is being gay or bisexual becoming trendy? What is your local gay community like? Do you feel safe being openly gay in your community? And what bothers you about your local gay community or the com gay community in general? So, my, I'm gonna, I guess I'll start on this. Um, my thoughts on, like, bar gays, spaghetti lesbians, and just fake lesbians in general, um, it kind of, I mean, I don't care, do what you want, do what you want, but in short, um, I think it's ridiculous to pretend to be anything, especially, like, lying with your sexuality to get attention, and that's what it looks like to me, I just... It's ridiculous, and for straight chicks, like, pretending to be bisexual, oh, you know, this and that, to, to get guys, it kind of makes you look like just a cheap hoe. Um, is becoming gay or bisexual trendy? Um, being bisexual up here has become like this trendy thing, which is ridiculous. Um, like I said, it does, just pretending makes you look like a trashy hoe. Um, I mean, the gay, the gay scene's a little more noticeable than it used to be, obviously. Um, my local gay scene, my local gay community is, I guess, not huge, but fairly large for, like, the city I live in. Um... We have like the mainstream gays and then we have like kind of the queer scene on the side. So we have like what you like your stereotypical gay community, obviously. And then we have like that queer scene which is like I guess all the artsy gays kind of fit there. Uh the trans folk, um the drag community kind of goes under that. Um what else? And the gender queer community kind of that that fits under there too. Um, do I feel safe being openly gay in my community? For the most part, I think most people do. Um, we don't have like crazy religious groups up here that are like protesting in front of the courthouse, and we don't have that kind of shit. But I mean, you do get your odd like person screaming profanities at you or whatever, you know, oh, fag, this and that. Um, for, like, generally, you can walk down the street holding your girlfriend's hand. No one's really gonna care. I mean, you get might get some looks because we still do have that, like, oh, kind of, like, old school religious group, religious, like, old folk around. Um, the retirement community, actually. Um, we do have, um, like, a Pride Week, obviously, and, and like, and a local gay bar. So, we, like, we are pretty much accepting at this point. Um, but there are things that do bother me. And, uh, obviously, we do have, like, there is a gay community, but 
it seems like beyond the gay bar and Pride Week every year, after that point, um, it's like half the community just disappears. I don't know, it's like they're out, but then they go back in the closet for the rest of the year almost, which is strange. Um, it kind of bothers me because why is that? Um, do they feel do they feel like uncomfortable in the community or like what is it, you know? And that's something that, that bothers me up here. That uh there's not like the steady gay community that's like out and known. There are like the gays that are known and out there, but then it's like the gay community just diminishes for most of the year. And uh, I wish, I guess, that would sort of fade out. Um, I don't know where else to go with this. But um, I guess, uh, huh. Um, I guess, yeah, like, the gay community in general, like, there's... I guess I'm just going to end here. Um, I'm at like almost six, some past six minutes. So um, I'm going to leave my information anyways at the bottom uh, for auditions. You can just message me through Tumblr, email me, uh, Skype me, whatever. Um, you can just message on uh, YouTube also. And I really hope I hear from some new lesbians out there that want to be part of this project and we can grow this hopefully again because it has sort of died recently, unfortunately. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm out and 